everyone. Welcome to The Secret Place with Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping in today. I have a treat for you with Howard Thurman again. Deep is the hunger. This is this is a devotional and he's just so rich. I mean, are you looking for something new to inspire you in the words of Christ in scripture? This man certainly does. Um, I have a very short passage to read to you from, t- from page 154 today where uh, Thurman is talking about words, some of my favorite topics. He says, Do we select our words with the kind of reverence that bespeaks a recognition of the treasure house they bear? The spoken word is a symbol of meanings that we try to convey by conversation. Our conversation is hurried, feverish, hectic. Our spirits do not have time to use our words as lungs through which they breathe. To have a good talk, to have times of sharing through the spoken word deep things of the mind, Leisure to search for the right word that is capable of channeling the stirring of things within. This is to have the mood to linger in conversation or to take the matter of a sense of direction for one's life. Do you take time to ask, what is my point? What am I doing with my own life? He leaves us with these questions dangling. This idea that we should have conversations where we talk about the stirring of things within. He says, This is to have the mood to linger in conversation. That idea of lingering in conversation. Oh, I love that. I mean, ever since high school, I remember. And some of you, there's a couple of you who know me from high school on here. You've said you've you've subbed. Um, I always loved conversations that linger. And then, you know, as my faith grew in God, and by the time I was 17 or 18 in college, those conversations took on even more importance. And I would love to linger in conversation because getting to know, I mean, conversation is so important. It's so basic. Yet everywhere I look today, it seems like conversation is under attack. People rather send a text or um, a, a few words, abbreviations, because we're all so busy. And thank God that we can because we are all so busy, but it's also making us busy. Um, Sherry Turkle wrote a book I might have told you about called Reclaiming Conversation. I think that's a brilliant title. We need to not look at conversation as a luxury. Like, well, I'll have a good long conversation with her or with him when we have the time. That should be rare. And I'm saying should. I'm using the word should. Because lingering in conversation helps us develop and process the ideas we have the problems we have, um, the dreams, the thoughts, the issues, the everything that's going on in life. Conversations help us uh, to, to, to process that. Of course, prayer is a conversation with God, and we need to have those. But we really need to have conversations that linger with other, other people, with our friends, with our family, with, with folks that we're just getting to know. Of course, this is the way we get to know them better and maybe become friends with them. We are in such a a high um, moment here of talking about, in in our culture, talking about artificial intelligence and bots and all the ways that these tools of technology can help us become more efficient. I, I just like to take a day and pack them all into a, a big bag and kick those efficiencies down the road and say, no, here's a day just for conversation. Here's a day where we gather and we have a little tea and cookies or we have a meal together or we just meet for coffee and we converse and we let those conversations linger. I'm telling you something, this crisis that is going on in loneliness that we hear about all the time, the crisis in mental health. I I just read that the Surgeon General of the United States um, sent out an 85 page report about the latest um, public health crisis that goes along with obesity and with smoking. And do you know what that is? That's loneliness. People are isolating. Loneliness is not about uh, not having people around. We've talked about this before, right? It's about not being able to be with people who know you or want to know you or see you. And this happens when we have conversations. It's much more likely to happen when we have conversations. I'm thinking also of um, an album project by Sarah Groves, um, um, an album called Conversations. 
it's old now. It's maybe, I think it's 15 years old or 20 years old. It's it's a classic in my house. Something really wonderful to listen to if you've never heard Sarah Gross. Uh, conversations. But back to the idea of lingering conversations. Please don't think that that's a luxury. Too many people are thinking that this is just a luxury. Who has time for a half hour conversation or an hour conversation? We do need to, um, and it's wonderful to keep up with our friendships and our relationships through uh, through our smartphones and through a quick text or a picture or something like that. That's great. That's kind of like snack food is to, to healthy food, isn't it? Can you really live on snack food? Potato chips for breakfast, donuts for lunch, ice cream for dinner. How long do you think you'd last being healthy with that kind of a menu? So I, I think that the like quick snatches that uh, we can do of conversation or, or connection with um, our, our phones, our texting, et cetera, our emails is great. But let, 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 let not that be like the, our main fare for friendship and connections. We need conversations. Conversations are good. Step out into one this week, a special unexpected one, okay, will you? Leave me a comment or a question. Just say hello. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm going to say goodbye right now. Wish you a very good week. Bless you. Stephanie Bennett saying bye-bye here in the secret place. Bye.